there was. Yes. So <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're first thrown off your routine, uh, you know, being pushed back three hours. And, and now, and then, of course, you have that in game rain delay. We'll get to that in just a second, though. You mentioned their pitcher and mm -hmm. you wrote in the notes, and we've talked about this about how it was a Randy Johnson type pitcher. So she mm -hmm. was just dominant, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, what was it like facing her? And what was your game plan as an offense going into facing a pitcher like that? Sure. So she was um, really, really tall lefty, consistently mm -hmm. threw around 73, 74. And that's hard to get. Like, she basically had what's called a drop curve. So from a lefty, it looks like it's coming at your front hip mm -hmm. and it'll end up, you know, in the other batter's box low type thing. Um, so that's why I, I said it was kind of like that Randy Johnson uh, type movement. Um, and so she wasn't as comfortable um, throwing inside. So we would move all the way up in the box mm -hmm. and we would move on top of the plate. And the day before that worked, we ended up uh, scoring eight runs off of her and she, they got, she got taken out of the game the day before. So of course, second day we go right back to that same game plan and boy, did she make an adjustment. And I think every single pitch was a different speed. It was like 68 to 73 to, and she was mixing and she struck out, I think our first seven or eight batters in a row. Um, so we were like, okay. <laughs> and we finally, I believe in the fourth inning, we made another adjustment. We decided to back off the plate just a little bit. Um, but it was, yeah, righties had one game plan. You know, lefties had a different game plan. And um, it, that certainly wasn't a conducive pitcher for a lefty to be facing. Um, and our righties did much better off of her that entire series. Yeah. What was your plan going personally going into facing her? So I was on top of the plate and I was trying to hit like the pitch that was going to look like it was coming in. Mm -hmm. I was thinking hitting opposite field and it, in, in that series, it worked twice. And I I hit two hard line drives right at people. And I was like, okay, that, that worked. It just, you know, didn't right. run the hole. Um, right. I got hit a couple times by her and then, uh, walked quite a few times, but, um, yeah, I mean, she, she got me good quite a few times during that entire series too. She was good. She was a great pitcher, but, uh, you know, it was interesting every time when you face someone like that, um, it was like every pitch, if you took a ball, if you fouled a pitch off, it was like we were we were going to go crazy over it. We we're going to celebrate the tiniest of details because that's really what it was. We had to just wear her down a little bit, mm -hmm. keep seeing pitches, keep seeing pitches, keep seeing pitches. Um, so that was the game plan was just to really make her work as much as possible. Oh, by the way, be sure to follow us on uh, social media. I'm at Jim Tara on Twitter and Instagram. Cassie is uh, coach underscore Cassie RB on Instagram, coach Cassie RB on uh, Twitter. Let me get that mm -hmm. plug in there. Email us Jimbo podcast 21 at gmail.com. Okay. Now getting to the part of the game where you guys are down by three runs and you're facing, mm -hmm. you're facing the equivalent of Randy Johnson. Mm -hmm. What was the mindset then? What did you guys feel like? Cause it's at this point from the time you woke up to when you guys were down by three runs, this has been a roller coaster type day. I mean, yeah. kind of what you expected in a way, but there were so many monkey wrenches thrown into it with the weather and the delay and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you, you actually look at the top of that inning, the top of the fourth inning, it, mm -hmm. it had, it had started to drizzle, started to rain a little bit. And our pitcher had a really tough time with it. She got two outs and then walked the next two batters in a row. And then finally got the third girl to first strike three. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, all right, good job. Like she pitched, she figured out how to pitch in the rain because the field really wasn't an issue. The ball wasn't that wet, but it was, it was drizzling a little bit. Sure. So now we go into the bottom of the fourth and their pitcher starts throwing wild pitches. And we're like, oh my gosh, she can't pitch in this. And it's not raining any harder than it was before, but this mm -hmm. pitcher just cannot pitch in this. So we had gotten, uh, let's see, we got, uh, we got a hard hit single. That was a big deal. Um, wild pitch center to second. Uh, wild pitch center to third, uh, another walk. So like we, we ended up scoring, uh, one run, I believe no runs. I, I, I can't remember exactly how the setup we had it before, but she was just not able to hit her catcher. And so mm. we were fired up. It's not raining any harder than the, what our pitcher was pitching. And they decided yeah. to call it because she's having a tough time pitching. Mm. So of course we were a little bit pissed off. We were like, 